here in the next one, uh, the price of a car is starting at 20000 The start is very critical. So your starting value is 20000 Oops. And then each year you're losing uh, value. You're, you have a decay factor. So the decay factor, a quick way to, to find it is just take 1 minus the decimal representation of what the percentage is. So if you're losing 12%, you subtract 0.112. That means you get 0.88. Why are you doing this? Well, the idea is that each, you know, each year that you lose 12%, what you have or what remains is 88% of the previous amount. So that's why you take 1 or 100% minus what you lost. Minus 12% is your percent change, but the factor itself, the decay factor, is 0.88 because you have 88% of what you had before. So what's nice about this is you could do 20,000, right? times 0.88 for one year, and then times that by 0.88 again, and then times that by 0.88 a third time for three years. Or you can compound this quickly by doing 20,000 times 0.88 to the third power. And this is generally how these exponential functions work, where the first number is your starting value, this is your decay factor, and this exponent is always the time required for growth. So we can set that up as 20,000, Right? Times 0.88 to the third power. That's 13,629.44, or choice two. Next, we have the value of a car. Um, oh, I seem to have the same problem here twice. Okay, well, I hope that helps.